Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss about pedagogy and how teaching has evolved over time. Pedagogy is the study of teaching methods and strategies. And over the years, there have been three classic pedagogies, behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism. Behaviorism is focused on changing or reinforcing behavior through rewards and punishments. While cognitivism sees learning as a process of understanding and internalizing facts and concepts. While constructivism asserts that knowledge is entirely subjective and uniquely constructed by each learner. And social constructivism emphasizes the social nature of learning. However, technological advancements, particularly the introduction of Web 2.0, has caused a cultural revolution in the past 25 years. This has led to a shift in attitudes among learners who are less respectful of authority and more self-motivated. There is also a greater demand for flexible and relevant curricula, particularly among mature learners. Ubiquitous computing involving the widespread distribution of computing devices is also changing the learning environment, which may necessitate a new pedagogy better suited to the needs of modern learner. Web 2.0 facilitates participation and collaboration, allowing users to create content and connect with others to create collective intelligence, which contrasts with the original read-only web. A new pedagogy is needed to reflect the changing technological environments and the diverse nature of learners, providing multiple pathways for learning, personalized experiences and culturally responsive teaching practices. Digital natives have emerged due to the widespread use of computing devices embedded in everyday objects. They have a different set of characteristics and learning styles, including skilled use of tools, active learning, authentic learning, experiences, construction-based learning, and just-in-time learning. Teachers must adapt to the needs of digital natives by communicating in their language and style, going faster, less step-by-step, -step, and more in parallel. The shift to a digital world has also led to a greater demand for retaining and lifelong learning as older learners enter and re-enter education. They typically demand a flexible and relevant curriculum that recognizes their existing experience. E-learning or blended learning is becoming more popular, particularly in higher education with virtual learning environments such as Blackboard and Moodle, providing software tools for online learning and facilitating communication and file sharing. Ubiquitous computing is creating new learning spaces that are transforming the way we learn with virtual worlds such as Second Life, offering unique learning environments which with emotional involvement unmatched in traditional settings. Connectivism is a theory of learning that emphasizes the importance of network creation and the ability to see connections between ideas and concepts, proposing that learning is the process of creating new connections between existing nodes 
or creating new nodes altogether. As e-learning evolves, assessment must evolve with it. Traditional assessment methods no longer accurately reflect the collaborative networking learning environments of today's students. We need a new approach to assessment that matches the new approach to teaching and learning. Assessment 2.0 is about authentic assessments that involve real world knowledge and skills that are produced collaboratively with fellow students, involve self-reflection and peer review, and are tool supported encouraging the use of ICT. In conclusion, the changing nature of learners and the emergence of ubiquitous computing requires a new pedagogy that takes into account the unique needs and learning styles of digital natives, as well as the demand for lifelong learning and a flexible curriculum. Let's embrace the new learning opportunities created by the changing environment and create a more engaging and effective learning experiences for all. Thank you.